Hey everybody, Big Blue coming at you today with a comparison video of the Bravo Concealment DOS inside the waistband holster and the Blade Tech 511 inside the waistband holster for the Glock 19. Let's start with the Blade Tech 511. I've owned this holster since 511 and Blade Tech uh, joined forces for a holster line and introduced it some six years ago, roughly. And I and I wore it <clears throat> inside the waistband at the three, four, five o'clock, and the appendix position. Let's start off and say with positives about the holster. One. It holds the gun. It has semi-positive retention. If you carry a 511 flashlight or a flashlight with a small clip, should you desire, yes, you can carry it in that little hole there. And, folks, it has a high sweat guard. As positives go, it ends there. Negatives. Hot spots. Oh my God, hot spots. The bottom corners, folks, here, here, the side corner, as well as the sweat guard, dig into you and are extremely uncomfortable to the point of, I don't even want to carry my gun because this holster hurts so bad. I'm a bigger guy. I loaned it to a friend of mine who's all of five foot ten, 130 pounds. He's a stick. He complained how uncomfortable this holster was. Next, spring steel belt clip. This is my second holster. The first one, the clip bent, and eventually the plastic that holds the clip in broke. I had to start an email chain with photos Sent them a message that, hey, my holster broke. I understand there's a limited warranty on the holster. Can I get it replaced? Two weeks before I got a response. Then I had to send the old holster back and wait to get a new one. It took roughly a month. Not impressed. The Bravo DOS holster. I'm sorry you can hear it. Wobbling on the table. Yeah, I know it's annoying, but just bear with me here for a minute. I've owned Bravo products since the beginning of their inception. I've owned mag carriers, holsters, and multiple sets of loops and, and or clips. With each generation, they improve a thousand percent. The form, the fit, the finish, the style, the method of carry, everything improves. They don't just improve one thing in each generation. They improve everything. This holster now comes in the standard DOS, the light bearing model, and the DOS torsion holster, which has a 10 degree cant that pushes the grip of the gun into your body more without using nubs or pads or anything like that. It has amazing retention as Bravo holsters are known for. Great attachment hardware. Also, their attachments are removable. You can put a 1.5 inch belt clip, a 1.75 inch belt clip on the torsion holsters. And it can be multiple different ways, and you can find it on their website, that you can put this on to cant it, sit it higher, sit it lower, you know, left, right, however you want. It comes with two, but I only use one. That is a plus and a benefit right there, so you can fit your body type or your carry method or whatever you may wish. The edges on here are smoothed and polished. Now, you can see here the slide lock, slide release, 
whatever you want to call it. This was made for the Glock in mind with the Glock 34 with the extended slide release, but it also fits with the standard slide release. That's attention to detail, folks, and it's finest right there. There are no hot spots on this holster that I have noticed in the week carrying it every single day. The edges are smoothed and rounded and in good positions. Now, this holster is not meant to carry outside. It's meant to carry inside. So the tighter your belt pushes against the holster, the tighter the retention, folks. Okay, That's how IWBs are supposed to work little loose to get them in and out because if you have them too tight and you put your cinch your belt you'll never get the holster out you'll pull your hip off trying to do that now companies as I last knew limited warranty lifetime warranty I've used their 511 blade tech's warranty not impressed i had a set of belt loops on a range time tactical holster snap years ago i sent the picture with the initial email stating what happened there were no questions asked the owner himself stand up dude 100 percent emailed me right away we're sending you out a new one sir sorry about the inconvenience brother what's your address Four days later, new holster in the mail. Not just loops, he sent me a new holster. He didn't have to do that. He could have just sent me loops and I would have been perfectly okay with that. He stands behind his product. When you make quality, you back it up. I'm grateful for that. Military law enforcement discount for Bravo. Uh -uh. Nope. Not even a thought in their mind there, folks. Made in America. I want to say it's made in America, but most of their stuff isn't. So I can't tell if Blade Tech's doing American stuff or what, because I know 511 doesn't. Folks, the choice, is, the choice is obvious for me. Not worth the time and money. An absolute gem of an investment, folks. And I also have a mag carrier, an outside the waistband light bearing model, holster, and different sets of loops and clips for the holsters. Bravo Concealment. On their website, bravoconcealment.com, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Check them out. I highly recommend them. And they are always running sales. Follow them on Snapchat and Instagram because they will drop their sales right there. All right, everyone. I'm out. Vest up. Be safe and watch your six.